forward to this. We would be honored if you would join us. Force Choke was a dark side force power. This meant that the ability was fueled from dark emotions not limited to fear, anger, and hatred. Force Choke was used to squeeze a victim's throat with the force, restricting the air supply or crushing their trachea altogether. Sometimes, even, the person would be lifted off the ground by the power of the Force Choke, much like Kenobi against Dooku on the Shadow's Hand. In Star Wars, we've all seen the iconic Force Choke and its immense power, not to mention it's one of the most epic ways to silence someone, as Vader has shown us plenty of times in the movies, books, and games. So it raises the question, why don't Jedi and Sith just Force Choke one another, or even levitate each other during battle? Why go through the dangers of fighting with a lightsaber to the death, when telekinesis is much quicker and safer from a distance? There are several answers to this that I'll explain in detail with examples. I'll first start by saying telekinesis was an ability. Numerous Jedi concentrated on different parts of the Force, developing multiple abilities. Like any skill, Force powers required energy, and when used, it drained them for a brief amount of time and took their attention away from other aspects of the fight, such as blocking, dodging, or increasing the senses to their surroundings. All this restricted the energy required for dueling. Each Force user has a Force shield. Depending on the user's Force power, mental strength, and gifted abilities, another Force user will have a harder time breaking through their Force barrier unless distracted or weakened. Let's take Darth Maul, for example. He never used Force Lightning or any other telekinetic power against his enemies except for a few occasions in the comics and Clone Wars. Why? Force powers drain a user's life force. Where we may not see some executing powers through the air, they are most definitely using the Force to enhance speed, strength, stamina, or their reflexes, all of which Maul used his Force energy on. In the battle between Sidious and Yoda, we see a short lightsaber fight, since both of them were far more powerful in the Force than the limits of a lightsaber could take them. That's why the rest of the fight was mostly hurling objects and Force lightning, because they would rather focus their energies on telekinesis versus physical exertion. Now, in the battle between Dooku, Obi-Wan, and Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, we see Dooku Force choke Obi-Wan. The reason for this has two answers. The first being, some people think that Palpatine actually helped Dooku break through Obi-Wan's Force shield. <laughs> Dooku was a far superior fighter and Force user than Obi-Wan. He was able to break through his Force shield better than Obi-Wan could. Obi-Wan was actually the worst Force-attuned student at the Academy. He simply became great through his calculated methods and persistence to practice what he studied. So Force users in general would gauge one another in their powers within the Force, and if they were both relatively equal, then lightsabers would be drawn until only one stands. Just say about it. I have... But if they aren't in the same class of power levels, then force powers can be easily used on the opponent, if they so wished. Another example of this is Yoda vs. Dooku in Episode 2. Once Dooku challenged Yoda's force abilities by firing Sith lightning into his absorbing palms, he knew it was time for the second option. By the way, Yoda's ability to absorb Force Lightning is called Tutaminus. The duel then left no other option for Dooku than summoning his lightsaber to attack his old master. We've also seen this when Mace Windu Force crushed Grievous' chest and lungs in the very original Clone Wars. Force powers are always being used, whether they're as flashy and visible as Force Lightning or as invisible as enhancing one's rage and stamina. Force users allocate their powers to everything they know suits them best. What did you think about Obi-Wan getting choked by Dooku in Episode 3? Do you think it was Palpatine that had anything to do with it? I always thought he either strengthened Dooku or weakened Kenobi for that matter. But it could be that just Dooku is that much stronger. Let me know what your thoughts are, and thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Same time, same place. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, May the Force be with you.